dear students welcome to youtube channel learn with gisla in this video of number systems we are going to learn about multiplication and division of irrational numbers we are also going to take some solved questions related to it so let's get started now how to multiply two irrational numbers so there are two cases the first case says whenever we have two irrational numbers of the same order we multiply according to the following law that is nth root of a into nth root of b is nth root of a into b that means we find the product of a into b and that comes under the nth root the order is same n is the order order is same for example if we have cube root of 12 into cube root of 5 we find the product of 12 into 5 under the cube root so cube root of 12 into 5 which is equal to cube root of 60 another example fourth root of 32 into fourth root of 8 find the product of 32 and 8 so fourth root of 32 into 8 which is equal to 256 fourth root of 256 256 can further be simplified and written 4 raised to power 4 and fourth root of 4 raised to power 4 is 4 as we know that uh, if we write in exponential form it is 4 raised to power 4 and in bracket 1 by 4 and now 4 and 4 will get cancel and we are left with 4 so this is how we can solve it so answer is 4 now according to case 2 if the irrational numbers to be multiplied are not of the same order that means they are of the different order first of all reduce them to the same order and then apply the first law that means if the irrational numbers which we have to multiply they are of the different orders they are not of the same order so first of all we shall reduce them to the same order that means we will bring them to the same order and then we shall apply the first law and according to the first law we just have to multiply a into b under the same root now let us take example suppose cube root of 5 multiply by square root of 2 so over here the orders are 3 and 2 right so orders are 3 and 2 now we shall take lcm of 3 and 2 that is 6 now we have to reduce each of these irrational numbers into irrational numbers of order 6 that means we have to form cube root of 5 also in terms of order 6 and square root of 2 also in terms of order 6 now because there is 3 outside and 1 is the power of 5 to make 3 as 6 we can multiply by 2 now we are multiplying outside 2 so we have to in, inside also multiply the power also 2 whatever we are multiplying outside we have to multiply inside also so over here 3 into 2 is 6 and 1 into 2 is 2 so we will get 6th root of 5 square which is equal to 6th root of 25 now we have square root of 2 so over here we have 2 which we will multiply by 3 and over here the power is 1 again we will multiply by 3 over here also so we shall get 6th root of 2 cube which is equal to 6th root of 8 right now if you observe both these irrational numbers have the same order that is 6th root right now we shall apply the first law now according to it cube root of 5 into square root of 2 is 6th root of 25 into 6th root of 8 now apply the first law that is the product of a into b 25 into 8 6th root of 200 this is the answer now let us take up second example 5 into square root of 32 multiplied by 2 into cube root of 81 now if you see the order is not same over here it is square root over here it is cube root and even they are not in the simplest form so let us reduce each of these irrational numbers first of all in the simplest form so let us take 5 into square root of 32 32 is 16 into 2 where 16 can be written as 4 square into 2 so 5 into square root of 4 square into 2 now split it 5 into square root of 4 square into square root of 2 now square root of 4 square is 4 right so 5 into 4 and root 
5 into 4 is 20. 20 into root 2 is the simplest form. Now 2 into cube root of 81. 81 we can write as 27 into 3. 2 as it is. So 27 further can be written as 3 cube into 3. 2 and cube root of 3 cube into 3. Now further it split it 2 into cube root of 3 cube into cube root of 3. Now cube root of 3 cube is 3. 2 into 3 into cube root of 3 which is equal to 6 cube root of 3. Now over here if you observe these two irrational numbers here it is order 2 here it is order 3. Right. So we have different orders. Now first of all we will take LCM of 2 and 3 that is 6 and we will reduce each of these irrational numbers to an irrational number of order 6. Now let us take them one by one. We have 20 square root of 2. Now here it is 2. We have to make it 6. So we will multiply by 3 and whatever we are multiplying outside we have to multiply inside. So 2 into 3 and uh, square and root of 2 raised to power 1 into 3 inside 1 into 3 because the power inside is 2 raised to power 1. So we shall get 20 sixth root of 2 cube which is 20 into sixth root of 8. Now the next irrational number is 6 into cube root of 3. Now here it is 3 we have to make it 6 so we will multiply by 2. And when we are multiplying outside, we will multiply inside also. Here the power is 1. So 3 into 2 and 1 into 2. So we will uh, get 6 into 6th root of 3 square, which is 6 into 6th root of 9. Now we can say that 5 into square root of 32 into 2 into cube root of 81. We have to multiply these two original numbers whose simplest form in the same order is 20 into 6th root of 8 and 6 into 6th root of 9. Now we shall apply the first law. So let us take 20 and 6 together and all these uh, in, inside the root that is 6th root on one side. Right. Let us take them together. Now 20 into 6 is 120 and further 6th root of 8 into 9. We have applied the first law over here, which says that root of uh, a into root of b, nth root of a into nth root of b is equal to nth root of a into b. So over here, the order is 6. So we will say 6th root of a into uh, 8 into 9, which is 72. So the answer is 120 into 6th root of 72, right? Now we shall learn about how to divide two irrational numbers which are of the same order. So we shall apply the division law that says that nth root of a divided by nth root of b is equal to nth root of a upon b. Let us take some examples. So first one we have 4 into root of 28 divided by 3 into root of 7 which we can write like this 4 into root of 28 divided by 3 into root of 7. Now both are square roots, right? So order is same, order is 2. So we can write 4 by 3 and uh, multiplied by root of whole root of 28 by 7. So here we have applied the division law, right? Further we can simplify 7 and 28 will get cancelled. We'll get uh, root of 4, right? Which is 4 by 3 root of 2 square and root of 2 square is 2. So 4 by 3 into 2. 4 into 2 is 8, 8 by 3 is the answer. So basically we have applied the division law over here because the, these irrational numbers were of same order that is 2. So root of 28 upon root of 7 we have written whole root of 28 by 7 and further we have simplified, right? Now second example is 9th root of 8 divided by 6th root of 6. Now over here, if you observe, we have 9th root of 8, that means order is 9. 6th root of 6, that is order is 6. So we have these two irrational numbers of order 9 and 6 respectively. We shall reduce them to the irrational numbers of the same order and the order depends on their LCM. 9 and 6, the LCM is 18. So now we shall convert nth root of 8 and 6th root of 6 into 
of the uh, into irrational number of order 18. So we shall multiply outside and inside by 2. 9 into 2 is 18 and 8 raised to power 1 into 2 is 8 square. Right. So 18, 18th root of 8 square, which is 18th root of 64. Now 6th root of 6, 6 into 3, 1 into 3. So 18th root of 6 cube, which is equal to 18th root of 216. Now if you see both the orders are same order of 18 we have got. So the original irrational numbers we have converted into irrational numbers of the same order that is 18 and now we can apply the division law. Division law says that whenever we have nth root of um, one number and divided by nth root same of another number we can write nth root of the whole. So 18th root of 64 divided by 18th root of 216 can be written as 18th root of 64 by 216. Right now further you can simplify by dividing by 8. So you will get 8 by 27. So 18th root of 8 by 27 is the answer. Now let us take up third question. 6th root of 12 divided by root 3 into cube root of 2. Now if you observe this irrational number as a whole consists of both division as well as multiplication. So both the laws will be applicable over here division law as well as multiplication law. Let us solve the denominator first that is this multiplication we are going to solve first. So we shall multiply square root of 3 into cube root of 2. Now over here if you see the orders are different here we have two order here we have three order right so these irrational numbers are of order two and three lcm of which is six so we have to convert each of these irrational numbers into the same order of six so square root of three square root of three over here it is two multiply by three inside and outside we shall get sixth root of three cube which is sixth root of 27 and cube root of two now 3 is there so we shall multiply by 2 over here 2 was there so we had multiply by 3 over here 3 is there so we shall multiply by 2 inside and outside both so 3 into 2 6 and 2 into 1 2 so 6th root of 2 square which is equal to 6th root of 4 now if you observe both these irrational numbers are converted into same order that is 6 nth root nth root is same that is 6th root now both these original irrational numbers which were in the denominator can be written in the same order as 6th root of 27 into 6th root of 4. Now find their product 6th root of 27 into 4. This is the first law which says when the order is same we have to multiply a into b. So 6th root of 108 we have got. So now let us take the original expression where we had 6th root of 12 divided by square root of 3 into cube root of 2. Now we can write it as 6th root of 12 divided by 6th root of 108 because we have converted this whole denominator into 6th root of 108. So now the order is same. We can apply the division law. Now division law says whenever we have two uh, roots which are of the same order and they are divided we actually divide the whole, divide them as a whole so sixth root of the whole 12 by 108 now further when you uh, simplify it it will get cancelled 12 and 108 we shall get 1 by 9 because 12 into 9 is 108 so sixth root of 1 by 9 we have got now 9 further can be written as 3 square right and 1 is also we can write 1 square so isn't it we can convert into exponential form this is the radical form we can convert into exponential form and write 1 by 3 whole square because 1 square upon 3 square we can write 1 by 3 whole square and further 6th root can be written as 1 by 6 right so now we have 1 power inside and 1 power outside which we will multiply now 2 and uh, 6 will cancel we'll get 3 so 1 by 3 raised to power 1 by 3. Now again we shall convert into radical form. The denominator becomes the root right and the numerator becomes the power. So we shall get cube root of 1 by 3. So this is the final answer cube root of 1 by 3. 
so this is it children hope you have understood both multiplication and division of irrational numbers in case you have any doubt you can always write to me in the comment section i'll get back to you thank you everyone have a great day ahead